All right, Shalom. First and foremost, giving all praises, honor, glory, respect, and blessings to Yahweh, Bahasham, Yahweh Shai, Bahasham Racha Kadash. Salutations to the Lord's elect on the four corners of the earth, pushing this truth in sincerity while patiently waiting for Yahweh Shai's return. And double honors to our apostles and elders of Great Millstone, which have taught us everything we know through the spirit and power of Yahweh Bahasham Yahweh Shai. And this is going to be another in transit. As you brothers may know, my laptop is down. So I'm going to be doing videos on my phone for now until I can buy me a new laptop. You know, demons have been attacking my laptop, but that's not going to stop the word from going out. But this video is going to be based on a video that the brother, the beloved brother Manak Zagbai did from last night, okay? Over 300 people dying in um, train derailments. You got five Somali women who died in a car crash, which, you know, there's no such thing as a car accident. Esau calls it a car accident, but we know there's no such thing as an accident, okay? The Heavenly Father do not make mistakes. But you know, you got Esau who comes along with his pseudoscience, you know. He comes along with his with his, his left hand speech, and he when he gets to running off at the mouth, he gets to saying shit that beguile and bewilder people. But those those five women, you know, they got judged. Okay. And then on top of that, you got people dying from natural disasters, people getting people getting eaten by animals, by wildlife. You see? Oh yeah, and there was an article that came out. Over a hundred uh, East Indians died in a heat wave. So check that out, okay? Over a hundred died in a heat wave. So the Lord has been executing heavy judgments. Okay, heavy judgments have been going out. No. Waterfall, <laughs> you know, it's beautiful, but one day all that water is going to be dried up from nuclear warheads. And that's presuming to Isaiah chapter 13, verse 19, down to 22. Jeremiah chapter 50, verse 14. Put yourselves in array against Babylon roundabout. All ye that bend the bow, shoot at her, spare no arrows, for she have sinned against the Lord. You know, Jeremiah 50, 51, verse 1. Uh, uh, Therefore, thus saved the Lord. I will raise up. The Lord said that he would raise up against everybody that, that rises up against them, a destroying wind. Okay. And that destroying wind is going to come from a wall of fire that's going to come from nuclear warheads. But anyways, back to the topic at hand. Mass judgment has been going out. Mass judgment has been going out on the four corners of the earth. And every single day, somebody is getting judged. That's why, like the brother Benak Zagba says, you know, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, like the scriptures say, because suddenly will the Lord's wrath come upon you, you know? And the scriptures speak about that. The Lord's wrath coming suddenly. Sorry, my bad. The coming through. Uh, no, I'm, I'm going up this way. <sighs> You know, Salakia, now I'm about to go into a temporary walk and talk because, you know, got to uh, move my bike up this hill. Which, you know, the scriptures say, hey, not laborious work. No, I'm just getting off the just getting off the plantation and shit. See that they're holding a party over there. Uh, see if I can zoom in. See, hold, they're hosting a party over there.
But, you know, like the scriptures say, make no tarrying to turn to the Lord. For suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come, and in thy security, you know, you should be taken. Shall be taken. Okay? And we know that Numbers 23 and 19 says that the Lord is not a man that he shall lie. So man's judgment is going out, especially on our people. You still got police shootings going on that you don't, need, you don't even hear about in the news. You know? Somebody falling to their death by, uh, by slipping off the cliff from a mountain. You know, people committing suicide. You got murder-suicide rates going up. Because the, the, the economy of this country is going to shits. You know, every single day, mass judgment is going out on a large scale. And if you notice, it's large numbers of people that's getting taken out. And that's one thing I learned from that video that Manak Dezagba did, you know. One thing I learned from that video was that it was large crowds of people getting put to death, you know. You got over 100, 100 East Indians that died from a heat wave. You got people dying from tornadoes, hurricanes. And you never know who might be next. You know, now, I don't mean to sound like Apostle Gabar, but, you know, referring back to, you know, the uh, Bone Thugs in Harmony, the uh, original song, right? Where it says, um, it says, what you gonna do when it ain't no place to run? When judgment comes for you, when judgment comes, you know, you never know when judgment is gonna come. So if you're an Israelite, if you can hear this word, you need you hey repent and come back to the Lord, man. Don't make it, don't make no tearing to turn to the Lord. The doors of mercy is still open. We can still upload videos to YouTube. Okay. Make no tearing to turn to the Lord, man. You know? No, Isaiah 55 and 6 says, uh, Seek ye the Lord while he may be found. The Lord can be found via YouTube. You know, uh, we here at Great Millstone, we have particular websites that you can go to to, you know, research, look up particular things. Exactly. Hey. So, mass judgment is going out on a large scale. Repent before it's too late. Because, hey, remember the days of Noah, okay? And the days that were before the flood, what were people doing? Eating, drinking, meaning that they were partying, they were lollygagging. They took Noah for a joke, and guess what? One day, it started raining from the sky, and bam, just like that, they found themselves banging on the ark for mercy, man, and it was too late. So make no, t make no tarrying to turn to the Lord, man, and put not out from day to day, but suddenly shall the wrath of the Lord come. And the scriptures also say that in thy security you shall be taken. Okay? So... But uh, with that, I'm going to say Shalom. It's on to the next one.